How far do I gotta go? Well, hello everybody, welcome back to Pro Am Outdoors. I've had a kayak for a couple of years, but I've never done a kayak product review because it was an old kayak. Well, guess what? I got a new one. It's right there, the silver and orange. It's really excellent. Now, this is a $500 kayak, and everybody's like, man, you shouldn't get a kayak like that, but you know what? It's got five-year warranty on it. We're gonna take it out here on the lake. We're gonna go out, and we're gonna put it to the test. We're gonna rock it and roll it. We're gonna flip it. We're gonna flip it standing up. We're gonna flip it, see how far it is. We wanna see how far it goes to the edge before it goes over. It's not the best quality, but it's not the lowest quality. But for the $500 price range, guess what? It's got a lot of bang for the buck with all the features. And we're going to our shop because we're going to do a full walkthrough specs on it. I like to get in detail on a spec, show you every little detail on this kayak. So today I'm going to do an unboxing, show you what all this has for the price of standard $550 to $600. But I got it for right at $400 bucks with a discount that I already had for Sam's. Okay, so we're here at Sam's going to get a new kayak and it's a trip. They got it on sale for $400 and this is it right here. Excuse me. And this is what they got right now. $404, but we got a $22 discount. Wind up being $415 with tax and it comes with a lot of extras for this money. So if you're looking into getting a kayak at a decent price to get started, this is gonna be your best bang for your buck. So let's go ahead and get started and we're gonna unwrap this and show you all the features about it. Then we're gonna hit the water. We're gonna do a flip test. We're gonna do all kinds of crazy stuff to show you what this is all about. And we're gonna give it to you in detail on this product review. So, what does this come with? It comes with a really comfortable seat that they have, because I've had it for a while. Look at that. You're going to have to put it all together. That's just the way it is with some of these. You got your books here. You got another books over there. But we're going to go ahead and put this to the side right now. For $550 plus tax, you even get a nice, pretty nice rod holder. And I'm sure that's designed to go on your gear tracks here. Now, I make DIY kayak rod holders. If you haven't seen that video, go watch it. It's my most popular video, how to build a uh, rod holder out of PVC pipe for like 12, 50, now some, that was an older video, so it's like 15 bucks. And it's super strong and it fits every type of rod. So go watch that one, that's a good one. And it comes with a paddle. I don't know how good of a paddle that this is, but this one actually feels pretty good. It's kind of lightweight. Okay, it is a 240 centimeter paddle. You need a longer kayak paddle for a boat uh, kayak like this one because you are sitting up pretty high. So let's see how this goes together. Look. It snaps together. Yeah. The blades, they seem like they're, they're made out of plastic. They're not a uh, composite or anything, but they're old pretty stiff plastic blades. Probably need to strap this seat down good. Don't worry, we're gonna get to the lake and show you all about this kayak even more, but it's got three points harness in both directions, which you can adjust. That's why I like it, because it makes it is a very comfortable seat on this side. Back of here, we just tighten it up best we can for now and then we'll adjust all that later you got front adjustment ones i kind of like mine a little tighter anyway and the different settings on this kayak is pretty phenomenal got the seat here we're gonna put it in we got when it's all the way back you got the high seat and it does snap in pretty heavily now on the back of the seat here you also have these bungees right here that actually is designed to hook on the back right here and here 
so that your seat can always come back. That's a cool design right there. So if you need to get up and down, I like that a lot. It has a low position on it too. So you can take it down to the low position and snap it in. I personally do not ever use this position. I use the high position and it snaps in. I use that all the time. Now you can go online and get some seat risers and rise it up a little bit higher. It can actually go up another two inches and still be extremely stable and comfortable. Now on the sides here, you actually have some little bungees right here that you can actually bungee down and design to put a tackle on each side, which is a good feature. And you can just bungee that down and it works on both sides. Now on the side, you also have the plug right here on this side of it. And uh, it's designed to be on the side. Now the boat is curved. So when you have it tilted on the side, all the water will run down and drain out right there. So it works pretty good. So here on the side, you got uh, your bungees are on both sides but it's curved right here so that, you can, so that you can actually hold your kayak paddle nice and tight against here and you just put it on and it makes a really nice kayak paddle holder and it's on both sides. Now as we walk down to the kayak, it does have a measuring system right here and I like that it's grooved. I really like these grooves here and it goes down into the scuppers. Now I found that these scupper holes, I don't get wet. So I did buy some scupper plugs for mine wind up never have to use it the water just don't come through here very often next feature you got some rail tracks here and here and you got a really nice stand-up strap i like this strap right here it just seems like a good long one and the strap has worked good for me i can get up and down now then you have you put foot pegs these are angled kind of urban ergonomic but what i like about these while you're sitting in the seat you can actually adjust them and it locks in adjust them right where you're at and just see and it's got numbers on it to know exactly where it's at so you can adjust these pretty easily you can also hold that down and go back so as we move on to the front it does have a dash panel here in case you want to put something like um, monitors or whatever your whatever you want in here then moving on to the front now it has another spot that I really like a lot that I use a lot as you can see on my YouTube channel this is actually a quarter 20 bolt designed to place a uh, GoPro on. The next thing we got is a really nice hatch right here where you can actually take this off, pop the lid, and it's pretty sealed. It's got a rubber gasket around the edge and it seals on there pretty good. And you really have to push it down to get it to snap in and seal up. And you can put the bungee over it and it's pretty tight. And coming up here, you do have a grab handle here. It's not plastic, it is rope, but it's replaceable very easy. It has two screws each on it, so it is pretty strong. Now on the inside, this is what amazes me. The screws don't go through the hull. They actually go through a, it's molded down so that it has a screw can go in and have plastic all the way around it. So coming up here to the front of the, uh, the kayak. So it has this really cool, sweeping design right here that goes down under now let's go to the back of the kayak and show you the features of that it also has some nice rod holders that are out at an angle this is an orange package i really like that a lot now we come back a little further you have a really big tank well and two more scuppers i think there's a total of eight on here six up there two out here so it's a total of eight scuppers i really wish they put a scupper back here because i do get water that slushes to the back on mine but then as soon as you pick it up, it slides right to the front. It's pretty good. So you have a really nice bungee system here. You can snap off like this. And then you put in a black pack or crate. Come back across. Good, strong bungee. So you got your maximum right here already molded into your boat to tell you what the poundage and everything it is. It's 350 pounds or 159 kilograms, I guess it is. One occupant, obviously. That's the maximum. Now over here on this side, we do have the VIN number let you know what it is so that you can actually take it to parks and wildlife if you need to if you ever put a trolling motor on the boat like i have on mine as you see on some videos now we come back even further you got another grab handle here a lot of people don't know that these are designed to drill out and put cable up to your feet so if you ever want to put steering on the back of it or if you want a diy trolling motor where you want to push with your feet and everything 
this right here is the kill it is uh, removable and replaceable you got actual kill on this kayak and also has a roller right here that works pretty good uh, you can roll it out, out on concrete so not really good for like gravel and stuff but it works pretty good so the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and flip this kayak over and show you the bottom of it so that you understand why this is such a good kayak for the price And what the deal is with this hole design, it's all the way down, full keel, W style, or tri-hole as I call it, tri-hole design. Now the other thing is, is I love the way these scupper holes are done underneath. It's wider under back, but if you notice, it's got more of a slope towards the back. This is what you call a Venturi effect. When you're running, it actually sucks water away from the kayak's scupper holes and creates a good dry ride with the stability all the way out to the edge, all the way to the back. This makes them super, super stable. But for the price, it's the best stable setup fishing kayak I have ever found. So let's go ahead and take it out to the lake. We're gonna paddle it, show you the tracking of it, and then we're gonna see how far we can take it to its edge, because it is pretty steady before it flips over. So we're gonna do a flip test. So make sure you watch this to the end to show you how this performs on the water. Okay, so what we're doing is uh, out here testing on this kayak. Well, we're going to get some cutaway scenes of paddling. Well, let's see how she tracks, how well does it paddle. It's a little rough out here today, so we're going to try to check it out into the wind. And then we're going to flip it here in a little bit. So first off, let's check it on tracking. I'm going to go from dead stop to take off, see what happens. So we're going to take off and see how it tracks. It's a little bit slower, but you know what? I think it's the paddle flexing. That's not too bad. It's not walking, so it's moving pretty good. But for, uh, for, uh, for $404, with tax was $415. Come with a paddle and a rod holder, which is pretty good. I would upgrade a little bit later to get a more stiffer bladed paddle because it is flexing if you're digging hard. Track's pretty straight because it does have a tri hole to it. That, that's what I like about it. Okay, so I'm sitting on the high position. I'm using it now. What I want to do is test to see how far can I lean over before I go over. So we're going to flip this sucker. Maybe flip it, maybe not. We'll find out real quick. Let's just see how far. See, it's got the catch right here, so you can pick up a bass, work with it. So I'm going, I'm going. Golly, how far do I got to go? Oh, there it goes. Oh. That took a lot of my body weight, and I'm a fat boy to try to get over. That actually feels really good. <laughs> Woo, because it's been 104 today. Oh, I actually hit 106. But let's go ahead and flip it back over. And you're seeing you really have to lean far because it got the secondary catch before it could go over. $500 kayak. I think that's pretty good. Okay, back in the kayak now. Let's try this standing up. So I'm gonna get up right here. Here's what's cool about this kayak. It has a stand-up assist leash. Now it's stretched out. I should have pulled a little bit more, but I'm gonna go ahead and get it right here. All you gotta do is use it to do this, and then you use it to sit back down. Okay, let's see how steady it is. I can bounce on it, probably kayak paddle on it. Look at there. I'm not the best, but you know what? Right here, you can lean, and it's got the catch. You can feel the catch right here. It just catches. And it catches like that, pretty good. Go like that. I wonder how far I can go before I fall over. 
Oh my God, son, come on, turn it over. Might have to put both feet on one side. Go. Good. Well. Lost my balance before the kayak went over. Back in the kayak. Here's what's good. My camera on front flipped and fell down. But you know what? Because I believe in this kayak enough, I think I crawled to the front because I think it's steady enough. All I gotta do is get up here, work on whatever I want, get in the hatches I want, because it's pretty steady. All right, get back over here, sit down. There's another deal I would like to try. I'm, and that's, uh, See if I could fish with my legs hanging off the side. Turn around to the side and just fish this way and be comfortable. It's got that secondary catch on the side. I'm absolutely comfortable. I don't think I'm going anywhere. Seems like it's hard to fall. I can sit here like this all day and fish. Feet in the water. No big deal. This is a $404, $115 with a discount at Sam's that we got it for. I think they're normally $550. They got a five year warranty, 350 pound capacity on it. You can do a lot of DIYs with this kayak because it's inexpensive. Cut some holes in it and go. It's made out of some good, good material. I have never had mine go fail on me yet and I was in some rough stuff. So as far as what I think this is a good, good kayak, especially for beginners who wants a good sit on top fully functional fishing kayak. This is a great deal. This is the Yukon Angler 116, and this is Pro-Am Outdoors. Remember, keep your line wet, your hook sharp. We'll see you next time.